Hello, hello everyone. I am back. Alright, you're on Tony's Witchy Arts with House, and I'm Tony. Hi, hello. I'm going to do um, the compositional book today, or start on it today. So, grab a snack, pull up a seat, and just craft with me. So, we're just taking this. Um, I got this one from Dollar Tree for $1.25, okay. Um, they are, they do seem a little, um, flimsier or thinner than if you got a compositional book at, like, Walmart or something. So, if you don't like that, you might want to spend a little, just a little extra more money to go to Walmart and get one. That's thicker. But by the time I get all my papers and decorations and stuff on it, it doesn't really bother me. I just so. And this is what I'm going to use. So, yesterday I did start on one. And um, the, I'll show you in this one first. Okay. What I do is I open them and I kind of just stretch out the spine and just make sure... It's going to be able to handle all the stuff I'm going to be doing to it, right? So I'll go every few pages and just crease it. So how is everyone doing today? Right? So I pretty much go through that whole book and just do that, right? And then, before I do anything else to it, I will fold the first page down. Like this and then I will take the second page and fold it down too okay and um, after I'm done doing all the inking of the pages I will uh, glue these together to make uh, a pocket okay and then it'll get decorated with paper too so there's gonna be a pocket in the front and in the middle. So I'll find the middle where it's sewn, right? And I will fold these down too. I do this first because um, I don't want to waste any ink inking these pages up if they're just going to be covered with paper. So if I fold them down now, then I know not to ink those pages. Does that make sense? <laughs> Now that our book is, the spine has been stretched and the pages have been fold, then I move on to the next step, which is inking it. You can see my, <laughs> my papers here. So, um, so there's my, there's my two folds, which that will get glued together after I'm done inking all the pages. And, um, I usually will do this different ways. Um, my my most favorite way of doing the inking of the edges is take a watercolor marker and color the edges and then spray inwards with water and it will bleed inwards. Now I have shown this technique when I first started my channel so you might find a video of it all the way towards the end maybe if it's still there because i think a couple of years ago i did remove a few because they weren't getting any views so if that's one of the videos i moved then i can do another one if you guys want to see it but for today i'm just taking one of these ink ink blenders right and I'm just using some ink pads, which I'm using three different colors today. I'm using an orange, a red, oh, and then I'm spraying a few, and then a yellow. And the spray I'm using is this one. 
This was practically empty, so I just added a little bit more water to it because it's still shimmer in the bottom. So the color is a little diluted, but it's perfect for this project. project. Let's see. Let's see my. I just give it a, a spray because, um, yeah, it just breaks up the white because I hate wa working with plain white paper. <laughs> so yeah, and I just kept doing that off and on. So I'm still working on the red right now. I got all my um, yellows and oranges done. Oh, another thing I do is, let's see if I can do this without losing my spot, is I'll ink the sides. See how all the sides have different colors? I'll do it on the top too. Can you guys see that? <laughs> I think it's, it looks pretty cool, so when the book is closed, they can see. I even saw someone, um, you know, uh, draw pictures on the side. So when it's closed up, you can see the picture. I feel like that would take forever to do, though. <laughs> Alright, so I just take my scrap piece of paper here and stick it in there just so I don't get ink everywhere. So what is everybody up to today? Well, what project are you guys currently working on? How was your Sunday, your Mother's Day? Was it nice and relaxing? So yeah, this is all I'm doing today. Just working on this compositional book. Alright, so I'll just give my sides an inking. Then I will go and see what page needs it next. And I kinda think that one's gonna get sprayed. I just go through and see which ones I want to ink. And if there's any pages that I skip, then they're just going to get sprayed with this stuff. Have you guys ever decorated a, a compositional comp? Let's just call it a notebook because I can't say the other word. Right? Have you ever decorated a notebook? Before I started making junk journals, this is what I did. Um, and before I made my own junk journal book of shadows, I decorated a notebook for my book of shadows because there's a, there's a community here for us Wiccans that we used to, uh, get together. And so I created my very first decorated notebook I created for that group. So I could take notes and stuff. That's pretty cool. I like it. I still have it. It's it's sitting on the other desk over in the corner. And so I I think that's what kind of sparked the passion of to to uh, continue making books. That one's gonna get sprayed. Mm. So I had a lot of fun. I made a couple decorated notebooks for my daughter and some friends. I even sold a few. But you know, decorating the notebooks kind of led into making um, handmade journals that were somewhat plain and then that kind of led into making junk journals and I just fell in love and I've never come back. <laughs> and I think um, the junk journals kind of led into other paper crafts like making treat holders and 
No, I think I made treat holders um, before decorating the notebooks. So uh, I did have a little bit of paper craft knowledge. And then the notebooks, and then the journals, and then the junk journals. And now the greeting cards for holidays and stuff. And, I know. I really just fell in love with the paper crafting stuff. This this part of the decorating the book is a little time consuming. So it might be a little boring today. <laughs> You guys can tell me what your summer plans are, or what what kind of projects you've got on on the table. You know, you'll know by now that I have the witch's tea party room that I'm decorating, which is coming together quite nice. We have all the walls done, all the decorations on the walls so far. Um, besides, the, there was one tapestry that we ordered my friend ordered and we got hung up and it looks cool and we we're gonna put fairy lights behind it and everything but then after a few days um the room started smelling like chemicals and i was like where's that smell coming from where is it coming from i just was i was going all the way around the room sniffing and when i got back to the tapestry and sniffed the tapestry i was like oh oh it's you why are you smelling all chemically? Because I didn't notice it when we took it out of the package to hang it up, right? So then I had to take it back down because I didn't like that smell in the room. It was, you know, no nauseous. So I bagged it up. My friend's going to take it to her place. And she's going to wash it carefully and for breathing and air dry it and stuff, right? <clears throat> Because I don't have a washer dryer here. Because I live in an apartment complex. So then we have to use their facilities. And they're not good. So she's going to take it to her place. And hopefully it will come out okay. And then we can hang it back up. And then stick the fairy lights behind it. I should take a picture of it. Or find a picture online of it. So I can show you guys what it looks like. Because it's... It's a very beautiful, like, tree of life, but it's got, like, fairy lights around it, like, and so if we put actual fairy lights behind it, it'll light it up. It'll look really cool. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we get all the decorations on the wall um which i'll probably take some more pictures and post it in my community section just so you guys can see um i started putting some tablecloths on the table and pulling some of the decorations out of the boxes that i had for the tables so, and my husband picked up some more um more fairy lights and like neon he he found this uh neon light cord that lights up like a purple neon and the cord you can bend and so you can make words so and he got two of them for me okay i made it to the middle book and now we just gotta move past this But you can bend it, and then he um, got like little, little tiny like neon shelf lights that you can stick on the underside of your shelf so it like shines down on the stuff. So we might put those around the room too to light up certain corners. Oh, it's gonna look so cool. So we might put those lights up sometime next week. My friend's gonna come back over next week because. This week is really busy for. Her. She's a school teacher, so. So is my daughter. Or she's training to be a school teacher. She's... And then, um. 
Where was I going with this? Oh, uh, this week is her last week for school because, you know, summer vacation is coming. Um, my friend, though, she works for a private Catholic school. So I think they'd get out earlier than public. Okay. So yeah, her her week's pretty busy this week, trying to end up do all the celebrations and stuff and their kids are graduating in certain grades and going to the next. So she's got her plate full this week. But I'll see her next week. We can work on the room. I also have some Dollar Tree plastic candles that light up, right? So we, we have plenty of light for the room. That's not the problem. But the Dollar Tree candles are very white and plain. And so we're going to distress them up and add some lace to them and stuff. Make them look spooky, elegant, you know? I think that's my favorite style of anything these days is. I don't like gory, creepy, or gory, scary. Like, I don't like gory, gory. I like spooky, elegant. It's very cool looking. Oh. All right, but you can see how how long this could take, right? <laughs> so I'm sorry if this part's boring today, but this is all I'm doing. Tomorrow we'll do the fun stuff to it, where we decorate the pages and put the front on, hopefully. This is going to be part of my fall swap um, that I'm doing with my pin pal, and then the winter swap I'm doing with uh, Mystical Misty One here on YouTube. So probably next month I'll start on that stuff. Get all the handmade stuff for each of my swaps done and out of the way. And just put them in the boxes and let them set aside. And throughout throughout the next few months, I'll um, buy some goodies to stick in there. Because <clears throat> these swaps don't need to be sent off um, until towards the end of the year. But I like... Like, it makes me feel better just to have them done. I know. How did that happen? Was that me? Oh, apparently I got red. Well, we'll do something cool with that page so it doesn't look awkward. What's something that you love the end results to, you, but you just don't like doing because it takes so much time? <laughs> Craft related, you know? I love the look of doing the distressed edges for these journals, but I freaking hate doing this. Because it takes forever. Okay. Oh, my 
almost done, guys. I think we're gonna spray those too. <sighs> Almost done, guys. I hope this isn't wiggling the camera. <laughs> This kind of hurts my wrist, too. I mean, I'm not even putting that much pressure. It's just like... It's my arthritis. It's probably my fibromyalgia and arthritis. <laughs> Combined. So, I think on the winter one I'm doing... For the winter swap, I think... Instead of using ink... I think I might just draw the marker and then spray inwards. I'm just going to have to buy some new watercolor markers because I used all of my other ones up and I haven't bought any since. Maybe I can try to do a technique to make it look like ice on the pages. How cool would that be? Okay, we just have a couple pages left. If you're still watching, thank you for hanging on. <laughs> let let me just chat at you. Sometimes I don't usually film some of these boring stuff, but some of you like to watch everything. Okay, this will be the last one I ink. There we go. So the other pages that I've left white will get sprayed by the ink and then they will all be decorated. I'm done with the ink. Okay, now I just gotta go back and find out where where we left off. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this part, yesterday I was just spraying it, I 
that. And then I was taking the, um, the heat gun and drain it real quick. So if you guys don't like hearing the noise from the heat gun, you might want to turn it down or turn your volume down or um, mute it or something. All right, here I go. I'm turning the heat gun on. percent dry so I just flipped it I'll try not to spend too much time on those I'm hoping I'm hoping by the end of the day I can have the pages all done all right the heat gun's going on again I love this spray. I think I need to order some more of this. Um, a few months ago, I ordered some like blues and greens and purples, but I don't have enough of like like um, distress like browns, brownish colors you now. So I think I might have to order some more. <laughs> All right, heat gun's going back on. And I wanted to show you something, so I don't lose my place. Um, a little bit of that spray does make the papers ripple a little bit, but once I'm completely done, um, I'll probably put something on top of the book, something heavy, and let it set for probably a day. And then I will um, move on to doing other stuff to it, just because I do want the pages to stay fairly flat so it doesn't get like a big alligator mouth type opening because of all the bulk I'll be adding to it so yeah if you decide to do this and you're like wait a minute it's making the pages too fluffy just put something on it but you gotta you gotta weight it down before you start adding like decorations to your pages like stickers or embellishments or paper flat it down first this one's getting really empty.
my puppy dog's in here and now she's up <laughs> looking at me like, what are you doing? Who are you talking to? Because <laughs> her head's like, her head keeps like moving back and forth like, who are you talking to? I'm almost done, baby. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna dry this page and then stop here. Okay, guys, if you're still watching, <laughs> sorry that it was boring today, but this is all I'm doing today. This is it, and then maybe tomorrow I'll do something else to it. So, alright, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!